What's up everybody? It's another Saturday update. Today is Christmas Eve, so obviously that means today is December 24th. Um, so I am getting ready to go to the store. My wife and I did a gift exchange last night, and, uh, and by the way, Rethink Protein, uh, I believe this is, yeah, Torre Washington's uh, company, clothing company. They've got super cool hoodies. As soon as I saw this hoodie, like I love this gray. I've been, I like gray a lot and I've been super into gray recently. So uh, my wife got me this hoodie for uh, for Christmas and we did our, we did a little gift exchange last night. My wife and I are both really bad at, um, at keeping gifts from people. I typically don't buy people presents until like the last minute just because if I buy them beforehand, I like want to give them to them instantly. So um, as a matter of fact, my wife's present that I gave her last night, uh, I had that for like a week and it was killing me, man. I was ready to give it to her. I was ready. I And I don't know, I'm not really super good at doing the gift thing. Um, and then on top of that, that just makes it worse. So. Uh, you know, so I get a lot of crap because a lot of times my my gifts show up in bags from the store and, I, and it looks like I don't care and I was doing it last minute but I was actually doing it last minute because I knew that I because I always know that I won't be able to wait so anyway I'm going to go to the store and just look around and see if there's anything that uh, I want to get my wife is just like an add-on gift or something like that um, just a little something extra to surprise her um, and yeah i mean that's what i'm gonna go do i did weigh myself this morning i was at 222.2 i had a few drinks last night and uh with margaritas i had a lot more salt than i usually do um so i'm probably holding a little bit of water i don't know how much um but yeah and it's christmas so who really cares uh, but anyway, yeah, so guys, I will catch up with you later and maybe I'll show you a little bit of run around the store if I see something cool. Uh, but until then, all right guys, so I'm at Target. This is my wife's favorite store. This is what she likes and all the stuff is like her style. So this is where I'm at. We'll see if I find something and I'll talk to you guys after a bit. So this is like the epitome of dumb and embarrassing. Um, so I used to have a case for my phone that uh, held my cards in it, and I still do, but my last one was getting kind of janky, so my wife got me a fancy new one. And the back slides open here, and you can keep cards in it. Well, this one's slimmer than my old one. My old one, I could keep my gym pass, which is what you just saw, that's my gym pass. Uh, my driver's license and my debit card and I never really had to carry a wallet around or anything like that uh, and it was super convenient well with this new one it's slimmer and that gym pass is the only thing that fits in here there I can't fit another card in here so this is not the first time since I got this case that I've left everything else somewhere and I and right now I'm not quite sure where my stuff is at so I get to drive home and uh, hopefully find my stuff so that I can come back to the store and do what I was gonna do anyway I just thought that was uh, pretty funny and embarrassing and real and I would share that with you guys so hopefully you get a laugh out of that all right guys so I got my wallet and yes this is leather it's from before I was vegan I had this wallet for a long time and this is actually just the card sleeve from my wallet um, and again the only reason that I'm using it right now is because of my whole phone case thing but hopefully I'm gonna be getting a, a, a new cork wallet there's a cool one that I saw uh, from uh, corkature or what I'm not sure how you say their name uh, anyway that they've got a slim uh, card wallet type thing that uh, I think it's called the minimalist um, and that's I really like that and uh, hopefully I'll be getting that soon but anyway to get my wallet I had to come to my job um, which is in O'Fallon from st. Charles and I live right on the river 
uh, in St. Charles, and I had to come out to O'Fallon, which, I mean, isn't that bad. I left my I left my apartment at basically like 7:40, and I got out here. I've already done. I already went inside and got it, and dealt with the alarm and all that. And now I'm back in the car, and it's not even eight o'clock yet. So um, it's like it's literally it's 7:58. So. Uh, it took like 15 minutes to get here. It's not that bad, but it is pretty annoying. So basically I was at Target and then I went back to my apartment and then I had to come all the way out to O'Fallon because I thought maybe my wallet's in my apartment, but it wasn't. So I had to come out to work because I figured that this is where it was, but I wanted to check my apartment because I didn't want to drive all the way out here. If it wasn't here, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, got it. Now I'm going back to the stove. What's up everybody? So since today is Christmas Eve, uh, I decided that I'm gonna do something that I've wanted to do for a while, and that is make biscuits and gravy. So I, uh, I got some biscuits, and these are the ones that I got. These are Grand's regular biscuits, uh, and they are buttermilk, naturally and artificially flavored. So I used the Is It Vegan app and looked, at, and looked this up, and it, the only thing that it showed was whey. Um, and when I look at the ingredients though, whey is not listed. Oh, yeah, you can't really see that. Anyway, whey is not listed on the ingredients list. Um, and there, and it's, and it has the allergy statement, uh, may contain milk ingredients. So whey is a milk ingredient and it doesn't say that it does contain milk ingredients and it doesn't say whey on it. So I'm giving these a shot. I will be doing more research on them, uh, but I went ahead and bought them. Um, so these are the biscuits that I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna make a gravy. I'm gonna make a vegan sausage gravy. They didn't have the sausage that I've had before. So I'm gonna be trying something out brand new and that is these uh, Light Life Gimme Lean Veggie Breakfast Sausage Patties. Um, so I'll be able to tell you guys what I think of this sausage. Uh, and I'm also gonna, instead of just having the patty, I'm gonna break it up and put it into uh, a sausage uh, sausage gravy. So I'm gonna get going on the gravy now. I've got the oven warming up to be able to do the biscuits. And I'm gonna make the gravy with um, whatever oil I get from this, a little bit of vegetable oil and then I'll use some uh, earth balanced butter to get more fats and then make a roux with flour and those things and then use some plant-based milk to be able to make the gravy and then I'll season it with like black pepper and things like that to make it more gravy and sausagey. So yeah, but that's my plan and I'll try and show you guys how this is going as I work through it and yeah. All right, so let's talk about these sausage patties real quick. Here's the patties in the package. I kind of like this packaging because it was two of these little packets. There's four patties per box. Uh, here's two of them in that package. I'm using the other two. Now, if I would have looked at these, I would have seen that they don't have any fat in them, so I'm not really going to get anything out of them um, except for flavor. These have 40 calories per patty. Uh, five carbs and six grams of protein, zero fat. So these, uh, so these aren't really gonna help me with rendering anything. I've got them cooking here with some oil. I'm really kind of using the sausage to kind of flavor the oil. That was a little more oil I just threw on there. So that's kind of what it looks like. I just rough chopped this, um, and that's kind of how I got the crumbled look I guess. I'm gonna let this go for another minute or two and then taste one of these pieces and let you guys know what I think of the flavor. Alright so there I've got uh, some butter and oil that is melted now that I'll use for the roux and here is a bowl of the sausage and let's see what it tastes like. It's kind of like a turkey sausage. So it tastes lean. Um, but it tastes good. All right, so I've got the gravy done. I'm just waiting on the biscuits to finish up. So here's the gravy, um, and it's thickened up well. I don't really know what measurements of stuff that I used, um, but basically I just used uh, garlic powder. I used black pepper, 
A little bit of paprika, a little bit of Tony's just to have some more spice flavor in it. I didn't have any sage or anything like a, like a sausage flavoring, um, but I will definitely try to do something a little bit different next time. It's a good consistency for gravy. I mean, it's, it's a good like gravy um, and it tastes all right, but it, it tastes light. It doesn't taste like it's, uh, it, there, it, there's some like savoriness that's not there. Like it's, it's not fatty enough or something. Um, I'm not really sure, but all in all, it's pretty good. This is the first time I've had biscuits and gravy in over a year. So stoked about that. Can't really be too pissed. And I get to learn something new about making gravy uh, a different way than I always have. So, you know, it's gonna be a cool experience next time whenever I try something a little bit different and see how it goes. Got my breakfast made now, so I'm gonna go eat. Man, doesn't that look good? Look at that. Oh, man. That looks banging. Yeah. All right, for real though, I gotta go eat this.